Well, as you can see, I've been playing on the roof and in the bush. I think I have everything here to the point um, I'm happy with it. At least enough to um, start to work on this cabin. A cabin, shed, what have you. So, what if we lay in a couple of strokes here? Okay, I think that's a little too too high of value. Yeah, that's better. Hmm. Using cobalt blue and uh, cat red medium right now. I think that'll do it. Okay, I'm not going to paint all the shaded areas yet. And there are still a couple of areas in here that are a little more uh, sophisticated in their requirements for shadows that I'm just going to leave for the moment. But in order to prove or show or qualify that the shed roof hangs over the, 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 the this, this, this front wall we need to establish a little bit of shadow in there as well so I think I'm going to narrow this doorway a little bit which means I'm going to add a little shadow there because I'm going to be bringing some brighter red down here as well. I'm going to narrow that door and give it more wall space. Okay, so I'm just going to give my brush a little dip into the paint thinner. Clean it out a bit, not thoroughly. Not thoroughly at all, just enough to bring a fresh color on here. So now I'm grabbing some uh, cat red medium and I don't want to go straight cat red medium just yet. I'm going to add a little bit of a lizard, a lizard and crimson to it. I know there's going to be quite a bit of strength here so And my brush is not soaked with red. Being very careful as to how and which side, how much pressure I apply and which side of my brush has a lot of pressure. You know, you don't, you don't always want to just take your brush and push it on there and force paint onto it. That will not work out for you in the long run. I'm allowing the canvas to, to I'm allowing the tooth of the canvas to grab some of that paint off my brush. which may be just fine.
you know, if the painting actually stopped right here, you know, with, within the frame, and it was only this big, I would leave those details there. But this painting is much more than just about features on the wall of a cabin or of a, of a, of a, of a work shed or, you know, I'm going to say this is probably an old shop. So I'm not going to include those details because that really will tend to weaken a painting if you do that. Okay. Now something I do know is that there will be some wall right here that catches some light as well. So, while I have the color on my brush, I may as well use that. Now, I'm going to take straight cad red, and I'm just going to lay a few strokes of, of uh, higher value, higher chroma onto this wall. Cad red medium, cad yellow pale. I'm a little concerned. I don't want too much detail, but I want this cat or this shed to be strong at the same time. Oops. Wipe it off. Wipe that brush off. Now I'm so tempted, I'm so tempted to just keep playing, you know, uh, it's really, really difficult for me, maybe it's not for you, you know, um, hopefully it's not, but I'm so tempted just to keep I really love this color, you know, I love what's happening. The light's beginning to jump out. It looks very warm. And I, I re would really like to just put a little speck here, a little speck there, a little speck here and there <clears throat> to, uh, to warm things up and, and to make it pop more. But what I find is that my eye right now is probably two feet or maybe 20 inches from the canvas itself. And From this distance, I tend to ignore, let me just back up here a second. I tend to ignore the importance of the rest of the painting. Because I'm so focused on this, I want to make this really interesting. So, let me just focus in again. So I have to force myself, whoops, sorry, I have to force myself to ignore 
the top of the painting and, and just stop myself. Stop adding color. Stop adding detail. It's going to get weak. The more tiny blobs you add, the weaker it gets. Again, it's, it's, in, it's, it's relative to all of the other size and shapes of the brush strokes that you have on your painting. Because it is the focal area, a few detailed points are, are great, you know. Some, uh, some bits of interest. But uh, it easily becomes too much. Just because one stroke is, is fantastic. Or it doesn't just because one stroke is good, it does not mean two strokes are, are better. That is for sure. My goodness, I've been guilty of, of overdoing it sometimes. Okay, so I'll stop sniveling about that and I'd like to just I'm gonna go straight raw umber. And maybe maybe strokes on this bit of old fence. Okay, that's off to the edge. It's a little lower in value. This one is surrounded by some orange. So I think we can also afford to not have that value very high. See, and even within that little square, trying to maintain something interesting about it. Not too much, not overdoing it, but just a little bit. Okay. We're getting a little closer to our focal area, so I don't mind being more brave. Don't want to paint individual slats. And some people will, will you know, uh, some viewers will decide for themselves this is a piece of fence. Other view will, other viewers will say no, that's just a pile of wood. You know, it's it's that's kind of the wonderful thing, uh, the wonderful thing about uh, uh, impressionism. It allows people's minds to, to decide for themselves what they what they see. I love that. It allows your viewer to be creative as well as as well as you as a painter. Okay, I can go a little lighter there now. Alright, and Just a bit of a clean up on aisle five here. Yeah. Again, so tempted to put little highlights here and there. That's that's you know if you're a realist, go ahead. I'm not be the most unrealistic person on earth. So there sits the cabin. I'm very happy with that. Actually I shouldn't say that until I stand up and walk away. So I'm gonna stand up and walk away. As you can see 
I stood up and walked away and sat in my chair, which is only about 8-10 feet away from the painting. Immediately I saw that the value was still too low on these on these bits of fence or, or what have you, corral. Uh, so I've just come back in and again only uh, white, titanium white and raw umber and laid in some light spots. I think that's improved. Well that's how far I've gotten. It's a Saturday night. I think tomorrow I will not be able to uh, publish anything. So I'm just going to give you this for the rest of the weekend. I think that tomorrow I'm just going to, well, I know I'm going to relax. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk to you. I sure hope you have a good weekend. Thanks for watching.